Hello, my name is Peyton Johnson and I'm a sophomore at Ball State University. Today, I'm here with my camerawoman, Liza, and we are going to be giving you a virtual walkthrough of the Dr. Joe and Alice Brainerd Orchid Greenhouse here on Ball State University, located just to the left of the Ball Memorial Hospital. Over here, the greenhouse has some ceramics of leaf cutter ants. And all around this greenhouse, you will see that there is ceramic or just figurines of birds that are native to these trees and bugs that are native to this area. Over here, we have more lobster claw trees like we showed over there. And up here, they have a mister that goes off every five minutes to mist and make these tropical environment more wet like it is in the outdoors. As we mentioned before, the orchid greenhouse is the name of this greenhouse. So naturally, they have orchids. So these are the vanilla orchids, native to Africa and Madagascar. And here's one of their flowers in bloom. And over here, as you can see, we're gonna be looking at the carnivorous plants. So unlike most plants and trees, they actually eat stuff like bugs and they eat animals to survive. So this says that they acquire some of the nutrients they need to thrive by trapping and consuming animals. So one of the most known ones is the Venus flytrap, and I'm not sure they have it here, but they do have this one, which is the tropical pitcher plant native into the Philippines. As you can see, there is a beautiful pond located in the middle of this greenhouse that actually has live turtles year round. <laughs> and in front of the turtle habitat is the lowland tapir plant, which is native to South America, the river basin, and the Amazon rainforest. In addition to lots of plants and trees, this greenhouse is also home to some pretty cool species of frogs. This one is called the citronella, native to Suriname. It is a poisonous frog with the yellow and black spots all on it. Here we have lots of succulents that appear to be growing pretty nicely. And there's a bunch of rows and a bunch of different types of succulents. And now we've made our way to the more outdoor greenhouse. And in front of me, I have more orchids. See, those are the, these are the Phelanopis orchids. And they're a genus of 60 species native to Southeast Asia, from the Himalayan mountains to the islands of the Philippines and Northern Australia. Okay. As you saw in the previous video, there are little baskets and hanging plants everywhere to make more space vertically rather than horizontally on these tables. And they just might hang down in your face, so you better watch out. <laughs> so here we find out why are orchids put in pots. So this sign says they grow on other plants such as tree branches. And the majority of the orchids here are epiphytes but are often grown in pots or baskets for convenience of moving because they can get really big and attached to other plants. So that's why they're put in pots. You're very good. And here we have some more worldwide orchid species and this sign here tells me that the majority of orchids can be found around the equator and there are over 30,000 known orchid species. 
Hanging here, we have a dendrobium plant, which has these beautiful orange and white flowers, along with these really rigid and very thick stems. This right here is the Betty Kendall Lady Slipper Orchid Species Collection that was established February 14, 2016 in celebration of her 100th birthday. We are now going to the cool house that has a very solid door to make sure that no, none of this human air gets in here. Come on. In the cool house, you'll find more plant species that are more native to areas that don't require a lot of humidity to survive. Another hanging plant here in the pool house is something called the pitcher plant. They have very interesting basin looking petals. And over here you can see very large ones that are pretty mature. These are a very interesting plant and I've never seen anything like those ones. In the pool house you can find lots of different species of these moss that need to be watered daily as per the sign.